Welcome Battle Brothers, I am the Epic Narrator and today things are looking a little bit different, right? So the reason being is this is actually my Twitch setup. So this is where I do all of my live painting and stuff like that. And that's what today's video is about. A lot of people have been asking me how and why I was using pink as an undercoat for yellow. And the reason being is that I've always found yellow to be an awful colour to paint. Especially where I'm painting old school miniatures and I'm painting them using old school paints. So yellows and reds, the old Citadel paints were notoriously difficult and basically almost transparent, so very difficult to use. But um, I stumbled upon a video by Goobertown Hobbies. You can see that link right here. And yeah, he was undercoating in pink. So I thought, you know, why not give it a go? Nothing else has worked. And I don't know if I'm going to go back, to be honest, to um, undercoating um, not in pink. So you have to wait until the end to see how these bad moons turned out. So today's video, we're going to be using pink as an undercoat without an airbrush. All right, so that's important. We're doing this without an airbrush, so very accessible. So before we start, just remember to like, subscribe, comment on the video, all of that YouTube jazz. Just liking and commenting does really help the channel. But if you really, really want to support my channel, the best way to do so is to check out the Patreon link below. Got lots of different tiers, lots of different things I can do for you. So, it's not just saying thank you. You know what? I'll actually do something for you. If you want your name up above my head or if you want a mini painted by myself, supporting the channel by Patreon, I'll do that for you. Not bad, eh? Anyway, so without further ado, let's crack on with the painting guide itself. So this was all recorded live a couple of days ago. So of course my voice is not going to be syncing up to that lovely face up there in the top left corner that you can see talking. The good news is though is that if you do want to interact with me live, I'm on Twitch most nights 8 to 8.30 British Standard Time in the evening. So why not come down and check me out? All of those links are below. So the first thing that you'll notice is that, yeah, I'm painting some really, really old school orcs here. These are old hammer orcs, rogue trader orcs, whatever you want to call them, space orcs even. Now these guys were made back in 1988, would you believe? And just, I had so much fun painting these sculpts. I'm sorry to say, lads, but you know, when I think of orcs, this is what I think of. What are we doing here? So we've got the base coat on him. Now I've actually Zenith Real highlighted these guys. So first I sprayed them black and then I sprayed them white. Now the idea of that is, is if you put like a sort of thin layer of paint over that white is going to shine through and kind of naturally highlight it. However, in a more basic way, the way that I use it really is that a black undercoat is going to hide and naturally sort of put things in shadow. So it's almost like a cheat. Now if I put the white on top of that as well, I'll kind of get the best of both worlds. So you could call this a zenith real highlight, or you could just call this me cheating and trying to get the best of both worlds with my undercoat. I'm putting a coat of pink. So this is quite a bright pink here, of course, you can see. Now I've made this pink myself, so there's no special paint to buy here. What I've used is coat to arms pink and coat to arms white and mix them up. But if you do insist on using a Citadel paint, um, I suppose Fulgrim Pink would probably work best. Thin it down and make sure that it's not too thick on there because you do want some of that white and even the black, not to shine through, but to kind of darken the pink so that you do get the benefit of those Zenithral highlights there. Now, I've run into a bit of a problem here. Um, when we look at Goobertown's video, he's using an airbrush. So something that I've completely forgotten to do was I've got my mid-tone ready. I've got my shadows ready with the sort of dark black undercoat and the white there. But I don't have a highlight on here. So what am I going to do? So quick thinking, a white dry brush is going to do the same job. You don't always need an airbrush and stuff, of course. You're going to get a better effect potentially with an airbrush, but not all of us have one. Not all of us can afford one. And yeah, so this is something that everyone can do. So what I'm doing here is I'm just dry brushing white. This will pick out those highlighted areas or those raised areas. And then when I put that yellow over the top, the theory is that they should be nice and highlighted. 
Now here comes the magic. Now all this is, is coat the arms yellow, thin down just a tad, and straight over the top. I mean, look at that. That's amazing, right? I mean, when I first did this, I was in shock. Maybe you can see it from my face there, right? But yeah, I was in shock. I mean, it just worked so well, and it's got a really nice, warm kind of yellow. Now, what do I mean by warm yellow? Well, if we check out this um, also 9088 orc that I painted a few days ago, you look at his plasma gun, that's what I would call a cold yellow, almost like an luminous yellow. So that's a yellow with a white undercoat. But now if we go back to this yellow, I mean, wow. I mean, how warm and full does that look? And it's as simple as that. Now, the coat to arms yellow worked perfectly. Now, the reason for that being is that these older paints, the pigments in them are not as strong. So this is perfect for using coat to arms. Now, if you were to use a Citadel color, or if you were to use a more modern pigment, whether it be like Army Paint or, or Vallejo, those kind of paints, I would really think about thinning them down a lot more than no! I've done with the coat to arms. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it really is that simple. So that was all I did. I put maybe a couple of highlights, went over them just a, a little bit more to maybe thicken up some areas, but really, it was all done. So let's look at the finished results. Wow, and look at that. I mean, I think these results speak for themselves, really, don't they? Um, the yellow is nice and warm. Those highlights are poking through from that dry brushed white undercoat. Now there is a little bit extra I've done to this. I have added a little Agrax Earth Shade into those deep recesses. So that will help the model pop a little bit more if you want to do that. But apart from that, I mean, the yellow, the yellow was done on these guys amazingly. And just look how good these old paints look on these old models. I mean, just amazing, right? Um, if you want to know how I painted the Orc Flesh or, you know, anything else about the model, let me know in the comments below. Perhaps I could make another video on that, right? But yeah, so you guys know what to do. You know all the um, YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe. And if you want to get a model maybe painted by me, join me on Patreon. And why not join me on Twitch? And until next time, Battle Brothers, may the Emperor protect you. Renewable's Blight. See you later.